Make use of pH values, we need to understand that they are a measure of the hydrogen ion concentration in a solution, and to be able to convert between pH and hydrogen ion concentration. pH is minus the log to the base 10 of the hydrogen ion concentration, so hydrogen ion concentration is 10 to the power of minus pH. For acid HA, we have the pH, so we can calculate the H plus ion concentration. We find that the concentration of hydrogen ions is the same as the given concentration of the acid, so all the acid molecules must have been split up into ions. The acid is fully dissociated, which is the definition of a strong acid. Acid HB is a weak acid, so it exists in equilibrium with H plus ions and B minus ions. In other words, it's partially dissociated. Some of the HB molecules split up to give H plus and B minus ions, so the number of H plus ions is equal to the number of B minus ions. The acid equilibrium constant Ka is defined as concentration of the dissociated ions divided by the concentration of the undissociated acid molecules, and we can substitute H plus for B minus, but we need to know the concentration of H plus ions, and we can get that from the pH. So now we can calculate a value for Ka. which gives us 4.58 times 10 to the minus 3. We can write a balanced equation for the neutralization of HA using sodium hydroxide. We see that it's a 1 to 1 mole ratio. Given the concentration of HA, we can work out how many moles of HA in 25 centimetres cubed of the acid, remembering to convert centimetres cubed to dm cubed because the concentration is in moles per dm cubed. The 1 to 1 mole ratio tells us that we need 0.00125 moles of sodium hydroxide to neutralise this. To work out the volume, we need to know the concentration of hydroxide ions, and we can work out this from the pH. The pH gives us the concentration of hydrogen ions in the sodium hydroxide solution which is 1.585 times 10 to the minus 13. Now we can use Kw, the ionic product of water, to calculate the concentration of OH minus ions. And this comes out to be 0.0631 moles per dm cubed. Now we have moles of hydroxide ions and concentration of hydroxide ions, we can work out the volume in dm cubed. and for convenience, convert that to centimetres cubed by multiplying by a thousand. We need to be aware that the equivalence point of a titration is when all the acid molecules have been neutralised. It doesn't matter whether they're weak or strong acid molecules, the same number of moles of acid molecules will require the same number of moles of hydroxide ions to neutralise them.